Welcome back everyone to the Lampos SMP server. Now this is episode seven or eight, I don't even know, it's been so long. Because um I'm actually came back to recording now. I I took a little break from recording and the reason for that was oh uh, there we go. Um I went on a little vacation trip, you might have heard that on the update video and I was gonna be not posting that many things for the next 10 to 12 days, or... And, um, that time has passed now, and I'm back to recording, but I'm sure no one really cares much that much. So, we are recording now, not this episode, it's been a long, long, long time since the last one. So, I thought the first thing I should record is the lamp post since I really need another episode. And I have something planned for it. There's gonna be one thing I'm gonna be doing, I believe. Just one thing. I'm gonna be making a new shop. And it is going to sell obsidian. Because most of the shops I have right now don't really, um, don't really sell much. Like, they don't really give me a profit. So, I don't think I have any obsidian here, though. And I totally just said that a really long time. I have no idea what I just said. Oh, I just want obsidian. Oh, I can't talk, can I? So yeah, we're gonna be selling obsidian. I have a little, um, like a little lava down that I can just put water on and then make the obsidian there. And that's all I can collect it. Or I can just make a infinite obsidian generator. And another reason why I'm making obsidian, um, obsidian, um, Stop is because I've been hearing that most of the Lampus members, well, Bank Bard mostly, um, want Obsidian and they really don't have any good way of getting it and they, it's really hard to get it. So I thought if I could get it for them and they can repay me back in diamonds and I could have more diamonds, then that'll be pretty nice and I want it. So I am going to make this shop. I'm not sure actually, I didn't really plan this out yet. I haven't been on the server in a few weeks. Um, maybe around or somewhere over here. I think over here is a good spot. Maybe like somewhere here. Doesn't have to be too huge. All I need is really just one, ch just two chests, one for payments, and one where you get the items from. So yeah, it's gonna be really simple. And I'm just gonna back, go back to my house and get some supplies, and then we can start building. I now decided. That right here would be a better spot. Because over there, no one goes over there much. There's really aren't that many shops here. It's mostly community stuff. Like the police station. And um, the courtroom. And also, this building is already in the back. So, um, if no one sees it that much. Because it's kind of blocked by all the other buildings. Then no one will see my obsidian shop. So I thought this place would be better. Because... It's like almost in the exact center of town. It can be seen a lot of places. It's even over there, over there, over there. You'll get way more attention and you'll probably get a lot more sales here than being over there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build here. I already have some blocks. I think I know what the building is gonna look like. Basically what it's gonna be is it's gonna look like it's gonna be based off of the cracked stone building. Well, that was before I got replaced by the museum. So, it's... Let's start building it. Maybe, like... I think I need some slabs, right? Yeah, I need slabs. Let's just make a crafting bench. Put it right there, and... There we go, and now we have some stone brick slabs. And I think it was, like, three in the middle. I'm not gonna make it exactly... A, it's not gonna be the same, exact same building, but... I wanted to like resemble it, like it's not like like it's, it's gonna have different characteristics. Driscus, it's not gonna look exactly the same. It's gonna have some things the cracked stone building didn't have. But I basically want to just make it look like it, not look like it, but like, well actually yeah, I look like it, but resemble it. No, 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 no. I want it. I want it like. I want it like this. Right? Hmm. 
What if I do this? No, no, no. That window looks so big. And the super-sized windows aren't really the finest thing to do in a small building. It looks kind of weird. I'll just craft a few more of these boys. And then... I think, maybe, this might look better. Let's block to take less fall damage. Like this. Hmm. That looks decent, but I think it's a little too tall. Maybe if I bring it down a bit. Just bring the whole sh wall down. Not the wall, like the whole entire uh, your thing down. Let's see how it looks. That looks pretty good, I think. You know what? I think I've built enough on camera. Let's do some off camera. Or should I speed it up and do a time lapse? The building is now done, and it, it's a lot smaller than the original, but and it doesn't look um as nice as it. Well, actually, it looks um decent, but it's that I just feel like the cracks don't really look nicer than this. I think it was a sign. The sign really stands out. But of course, obviously, I'm not gonna be able to put sign up here because the word obsidian is just too long. Crack was long enough. So yeah, the building is all done. It's very simple. Just you get the obsidian from here, and then you pay here. And I'm gonna have a hopper go down to a chest, and then have a piston thing so I can get down to it. I have all my other shops. I'm also gonna have that same item frame thing, but ooh, this is odd number. It's not even. How am I gonna, gonna do the item frame? Maybe I can do like. This, so like, I have to name this item, so that would be like, uh, that would say, say 64, and then I have a hop down here, saying equals, and then I would say prices. I think people might understand that. Or, um, ooh, I wouldn't, maybe the price can be, I think I might know what to do. There might be a way out of this. What if I just do this? Have the hopper down here. Like that. Yeah, that, that, that's the, actually that's a nice place to do it. Like, not to have everything in one wall. Have some stuff scattered. That actually, that actually looks nice. And then, I wonder what the price is going to be though. So let's name this diamond with an anvil. The price should be, um... How much does 64 cost? 
Ooh, obsidian is pretty hard to get. We'll do four. We'll do four diamonds. I think it's a good price. And if the sales are through the roof and um it sells out pretty quickly, I'll increase it to five and I get more diamonds. Slower, but I'll get more. There are four. So I need to name this 64 now so people know how much it is. So now what I have to do is do the little hopper thing and the redstone. The shop is now done and complete. Oh, and I forgot to put on, take my copy table. There. It's all done, and I didn't have a little sign here. I call it the glowstone shoppy, kind of like the... No, not that glowstone. The obsidian shoppy, kind of like the glowstone shoppy, because, um... No, oh, 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 stop. Oh, well, it's pronounced stop, but... That's how it's spelled in America. You see inside, it's the same. But now I did the prices, I named it all. 64 equals 4 diamonds. I think that's a good price. And I was, um, I was doing some off camera work underground in the, the caves. And in a, in a branch mine, and I just got a ton of obsidian. And now I have two stacks of obsidian. So, and all in all, I can get eight diamonds from the shop until when I don't refill it. So, I think this is a pretty nice shop. And hopefully, I will get some sales. Because Classic Steam, I know he has classic portals. And you need a lot of obsidian for that. So maybe I'll get some obsidian from him. But I think that's all this episode is going to be for today. It is a little bit of a short one. But I don't want to try to keep these too long. So you guys can stay to watch the whole thing. So that's going to wrap up this episode of the Lampos SMP server. And I'll see you all next time.